What is up friends and family, welcome on my sneaker, my name is Frost, make sure to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell, helps it a lot, helps it grow, helps it get more awesome, thank you. So what we are going to do now is very simple but very important, we are going to lace a pair of Air Jordan 1s. So right here as you can see is my configuration, it looks a little bit awkward because my foot is not inside, but when you put your feet in. This is why it looks strange. It looks how it should. I like to lay them a little bit tighter up here in the front section and loosen it up because my feet are a little bit more narrow so I got a little bit of a better grip down here. So what we are going to do is don't use the top hole, use this one and also I can already tell you this is the critical part here one, two and three and then we change it up a little and the second to last will also be something special. But now take our unlaced sneaker. So placing the sneaker for you. I've already started as you can see taking the laces, put them from the outside to the inside and then of course you make sure that they are even in length. So next up is very important we are going to start. The start is always important but we start with left side under, right side over which means we always have the same pattern under over as you can see right here where I simply put it over to show you as an example. Left side first And of course make sure that the laces are straight and not twisted. Which you can do by simply pulling them through your hands. No, already, no, I did not mess it up. So, next. And like I told you, the first three holes are very important. Next up, left side under right side over even if you twist it it's not the end of the world you can simply turn it if you take the laces right here and right here and then turn it into the direction it should be so we put two in and we are starting to wide it a little because we want that a little bit tighter and then open it up look which I already showed you. So this is the third from the bottom. This is our I would say turning point where we change the style we lace and widen it up a little bit more. So as you can see I twisted it And now it's straight up again. So just a little bit. And now we are start to give it a little bit more space. Like this. And like this. Right here, another twist, not too bad. Okay. Next up. As you can see right here, second to last, which is which is the point where we use the tongue holder to hold the tongue in place because as you can already see the tongue is moving to the inside, which looks a little bit goofy and that's what we do not want. So we start up with the left side and simply put it through the holder first and then the lace holder afterwards. I like to push it out a little to see how my foot would look like and I zoom out so you can see better and hold it in place. Then I take the second lace, straighten it up, put it through and of course you cannot see where they cross because it's inside so you have to make sure that it's not kind of, I would say, 
chaotic in there. Of course there's not that much space to make a total mess, but um, in my opinion it's difficult how to say that it should look like, yeah that's good, because at some point one is more loose than the other and especially in this gap right here it makes a huge difference whether you put it through perfectly or not. So, the last one, simply put it through right here and as you can see I, let me finish it first, I got quite some lacing left which is totally fine. A lot of people like it just like this. I personally got it tighter right here which means we got a lot more rope to play with. You can make a knot, you can also put it behind the tongue. This is what I like to do and you can also tie it behind the tongue. If you want to get rid of it anyway a little bit more what I like to do is put it right through this one right here and it looks absolutely clean without using the top hole as our anchor point and make it too tight. But I really like the look and I can also still tie it behind the tongue or simply place it there. I'm not a big fan of laces that are hanging out like crazy or a, a cute loop. This is why I developed this, that technique for myself. So check out the result. It looks pretty good but make sure if it's a little bit, I say, chaotic, simply take your hand, put it inside and then you see how it really looks because this simulates your feet. But anyway, enough talking. I would say put them on my feet and check out the final result.